This is Tita on First TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And this is definitely where we'll bring you the biggest sentiment stories and definitely analyze them for you. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu Washanke. That's good. <laughs> you know, I take the corrections <laughs> and I hold on to it. My. <laughs> How are you guys? <sighs> It's still a ramified day, fam. Mm -hmm. Salah is not over. In I finally ate ram. Thank you, oh, my okay. And I ate it. A ram was unhealthy. Really? Did yes. it feel unhealthy in your mouth? Mm -hmm. what, what is unhealthy? Also, ram it, tastes it looked like? it looked kind of unhealthy. Yeah, when you put you it know, that way, her ram was unhealthy. It's not me that keeps. <laughs> 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 but you know. I got another one in the office, and if you compare and contrast Elsie's ram and that ram, mm. you know that one looked like buff ram. Uh, Elsie's have ram looked like, like this. This salad is like just it wasn't best. well fed before the queue. That's why it's good not to not to sometimes eat up from outside, so you have nothing to compare to. <laughs> I was genuinely satisfied with my ram. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> anyway, I think it's been a good day. So, moving on to the stories of our conversation. John Grant Nicki Minaj husband permission to attend child's birth. Being someone on the sex offenders list, he requested that a judge change his spiritual conditions so he can attend the birth of their baby if the baby is born outside his curfew hours. According mm. to um, court documents obtained by TMZ, he also requested that as her manager, he be allowed to travel with her on business trips and good thing is both requests were approved. I'm happy for them. Me too. And, um, I can't help but think about the the level of tests Nicki Minaj's love for Petty is going through, mm. like it's easy to ignore that, and but for me, it's I, I can't get over it. Like she's having to walk through this with mm. him, and okay, let me just. Say <laughs> I mean, it's, I, I don't think I also want to do that where I put myself in that situation because I don't know if I'll have acted the same, but she is, mm -hmm. and that's that's, that's the amazing. life that she has decided. Um, there's actually rumors that she's having a twin. Oh, wow. Um, yes. Okay, rumors, but rumors. still excited. Yes, I'm still excited either ways. I mean, this is also the I'll be a bro, Nikki, because um, I need to have twins in my life. I'm so glad. Um, for, uh, lots of times when he gets onto the news and he's, the sex offender thing is always booking mm. him. Um, I've never really supported it because I felt if you've done the crime, you know, that's if the consequence. Done the time, but yeah. this particular story, I'm happy that they gave him the chance to be a father and then to also be a business partner but i feel like that business partner part was approved because it's family association to with him being like it was just a random person i don't think they would have allowed him necessarily to go on business trips so i like mm, that they're supposed to be the manager now so yeah who's also her husband well mm. that's from why okay. i read it just made okay. it look like the, fa the fact mm. that he was her husband is also a reason why they would allow him such yeah. um leniency but i think it's fair i think it's okay for you to give the guy a chance to be a father a husband and be supportive Nicki minaj deserves that to say the very least i can't wait for her to become a mom <laughs> there's already so many memes and rap um like rap um, she yeah that the yeah. type of rap that she would have and it's so spot on i don't know i i really love her like everything that she's been through and who she is as a person at least as they fed also i don't know the babe from adam but mm -hmm. i'm 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 really happy for her all right so for petty i believe in second chances and i believe um this is one of those um classic scenarios of giving a second chance right and um I won't say all thanks to Nikki, but at the same time, you mm. have to look at it as a second chance to be a better person. So I'm just hoping he doesn't F this up mm. because if he does, it's mm. going to be very, very, very bad for him. might not get a third chance. Yeah, it will mm. be bad for his reputation. So the fact that you're allowed to travel, don't go and do something well, that's stupid when you travel. It is a lot of, a lot of pressure. Well. A lot of pressure. Yeah. 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 Don't go and do something stupid when you travel and make your family because it's not just about you anymore, it's about True. you and your family mm. because you're getting all the privileges because of your family True. so just stick to your family and do the right thing that's all i, I just hope you can do that hmm. okay fair well, I, I saw the zoo part in his name what is that an acronym what, what's that like See, it's just too is... much for someone to have zoo and petty in one name like what's that i don't know he probably yeah. was it was like his friends are probably like gypsies or people on like there's people that have really weird names like mm -hmm. stone and ice cream and I'm sure his parents were one of those those mm. people who okay. were quite playing around when they named him. And now he's stuck with okay. it. Okay, good luck to being Mrs. Zhu Petty. Now moving on. Nollywood veteran actress Victoria Inyama says women should dress appropriately to avoid getting raped, especially in Nigeria. Take a look at this video. 
especially the ladies that feel flaunting it all is cool and all that listen and this is not about supporting women or speaking against women or anything this rape thing right trust me your government is not ready to do anything about it. It's high time you begin to protect yourself. And one of the ways you can protect yourself is by what you wear and how you dress and how you comport yourself. Now, this is not about rape of minors or old people or vulnerable people. No, this is about the so-called rape of, you know, babes that will show it all. Yes. Listen, it's not every guy out there that's normal. A lot of these men, they have mental health issues that nobody has picked up. Maybe their parents have noticed their violent nature and they are hiding it. Now, you dressing in that way to put yourself in a certain situation with them makes you very, 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 very vulnerable. And at the end of the day, you speaking about it is not even going to help matters because your government is not ready to do anything. Now, I know some people will come out with, oh, it is not about what you wear and blah, blah, blah. Yes, but let me tell you something. The stripper in the United Kingdom, if she gets raped, right, they will investigate it. The perpetrator will go to prison. He will be punished. And I'm talking about a stripper, right? Even a prostitute in, in, in the United Kingdom or in America where you're copying. Because one thing is, oh, but he can dress anyhow. And yes, you can dress anyhow in those countries that their government protects them. When you're in a country like Nigeria, that your government does not care, till date, I have not heard the punishment for a rape, a rapist. I have not heard anything. I only hear girls being ridiculed because they come out to speak the truth. But then again, I sit back and I see the way certain women or certain girls dress. Now, if you're going to the club or you're going to wherever, there's a way to dress. Dress as you want to be addressed. It is, especially... She just wrapped good, bad rubbish. It's kind of like how I want to make pizza at home when I have leftovers and then I throw the good stuff, but then there's also leftover from yesterday and I add it together. So then just, sha, we just manage it. That's how I feel about her video. How do you eat such pizza? Hmm? How do you eat such That's pizza? That's the real question without... for this video. How do you, how do you eat, eat such pizza? pizza. Mm, it's, not, it's not good. You have to be really hungry and really broke to eat such pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so just taking my student really... life. Um, Oh, but I think I think I get the intention behind the video, but we have people in hijab being raped, we right? Have, okay. We have someone that was raped and killed in a church. So the case with Nigeria has gone beyond how you dress or where you go to. There are sick men roaming around in this country, and maybe we should just focus our energy to. Advocating, because we are advocating already, but advocating more for our government to actually get up and do the right thing. And um, truth be told, um, without trying law. to um, maybe bash the government all through, I mean, this last wave of Say No to Rape campaign has actually um, made some changes in the it constitution, sure in communication. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of things <laughs> is going on. Mm -hmm. so it's not think. where we want it to be yet, mm -hmm. but we weren't where we were, say, so 2019 we were. Yeah. <laughs> no, we compared to 2020. Yeah. And we have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. But um, as much as I get the good intention in what she's trying to say, I feel like it still blames the victim for when they are raped, right? And like you said it's a lot of good i mean too many things going on in that mm. video that i don't even know where to stand yeah. so yeah <laughs> do you want to go no you go um i she lost me she had me at some point and then she lost me we've had this conversation before and i remember when she had me again then she lost me yeah <laughs> and she would, like pick me up and then she dropped me and it was just like okay yeah, all over the place um i didn't like how she said like a, a stripper or a prostitute gets raped within get protection i don't think we care much about the protection as we care about not getting raped at all mm -hmm. so i feel like that should be the focus more um well we've had this conversation before i still uh, it's not the most forward-thinking thought that i have but i just have it i don't think i'm going to use my life as a guinea pig yes to prove a point that no matter how i dress then you will not rape me so i'm going to be careful there's some times when if i'm going out to a club 
I'm going to really show skin. I don't know. I'm going to have fun. I'm trying to look sexy. I'm trying to dance and have fun. But my but security Which is, is basically what she's saying about dressing for the occasion, right? So she, uh, she kind of she she, okay no, dressing that way for going to a club. No, 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 no. She said the opposite. She no, mm -hmm. she said, she, she said, no. She said, if, that's why you're going to club. You still have to dress well. Because the way you how, want you to how you dress is how you are dressed. So she's basically saying that, being, oh. yeah, she she dropped us there. Okay. Anyway, um, for me, I would still dress how I want to dress. But I think because I know the reality of things that I, of, of the life that I, I live, I, I up my security with that. So I'm never alone, not even to the bathroom. Inside the bathroom. Because I grew up in SA, and SA has a high rate of rape, more so mm. than Nigeria, actually. And we will go to the bathroom together, like I'm like inside, not in the store, inside the bathroom. What if you have to do number Close. two? You did, we'll stay there together. How? Because there's been so many people going, the following women into the bathroom and stuff. Mm. So I'm a lot more sick, I'm a lot more careful. Mind your drink, in regards a lot of to things that. To so I think if you don't have that type of um, I mentality when you are dressed provocatively, I th I personally think it's it, it a bit irresponsible because first of all, you're denying the fact that you're if, you don't have to be sick for a man to see you and want to whatever. I'm not saying rapist or not. So if you're going to dress like that, I think you should be really responsible how you drink, how you leave your glass, where you go, things like that. But to then not have that conversation at all and just um, emphasize on the rapist, I think is a bit uh, too uh, naive. Mm. All right, so if I had to break down this video, I think she lost and picked us up on different tracks because when she spoke about the um, prostitute or um, stripper getting their cases investigated, laws being passed on to the perpetrator for them to probably spend life in prison mm. and for them to do this. There's a working law system over there that no matter what you do. And here in Nigeria, we don't have such laws that protect the, the the okay not even though that would put the perpetrator in a very difficult situation like if i'm caught right here now you know they're, they're not really thinking about it because they're like what's the worst that could happen do you mm. understand but if you know that if i do this man they are going to cut this thing off you probably won't do it mm. do you get me but we don't have such laws but guess what and then this video got me thinking again that why don't we have a working law system and i thought about it that oh wow if they put a working law system, a lot of our politicians will be we'll behind be, bars. Yeah. A lot of our politicians won't be able to marry their 10 year old girls anymore. Yeah. Do you understand? That is going to be very, Look very. Look at the guy who slapped the lady. In, and his case was dropped. And his case was just said that mm. there wasn't enough Elijah evidence. Uh, yeah, and it was, it was right there of him watching that. You cannot tell me that somebody who isn't participating in abuse themselves will see that video. And say that's not enough. It's not sufficient enough reason for abuse, and let the guy. I think go. that that, but, that particular um, case is a huge slap um, yeah. on is, our it, justice system. And then for and for the parts where she said dress and dress and dress, and I'm still really against that because yeah. we've seen people that have raped six months old. Which is where babies. I'm coming from. I, I like the fact that she no, said not. She said not minors. He said with the exemption Even of minors when we're exempting and old minors women. and all that. We're talking about people that are in decent places, dread decently, and still get raped. I have my talking about almost rape story that I have shared over and over again. And I wasn't in a public place. I, I was, was in a say, family house, for goodness sake. I'm talking about people right? that have even gone for job interviews, appropriately dressed in their um, suit. Um, what's it called? But now? I think she's talking about Skirt the category suit. of people who have been dressed based based on what they've been wearing. Because we've, we've had that. Which is why I'm saying you are basically shifting the blame to the victim because exactly. that kind of person will still rape someone who is well dressed. So I don't want to. 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 I don't want but I think that that conversation is not necessarily irrelevant, saying be responsible, even if that means you have chosen, because at the end of the day, you know I'm going to stand for just how you want to dress. But whatever decision that you make, I think you can't toss that conversation away to say you have to be responsible and know the reality of where of you are. Of course, I'm not arguing about being responsible and looking how you want to be addressed. I mean, that, that is a different thing for different people. But I will keep saying this. Even the last time I had this conversation, I'm saying when it comes to talking about rape, actually because of the There's level of how deep rape has gone into Nigeria. I mean, I, I, I think we should avoid the idea of talking about, the, oh, it's, it's because it's of not, how you look, you made yourself more vulnerable to be raped. Because of where we are as a people, mm. that's just it for me.
Because we've seen people, we've seen um, different types of harassment and very different. Even in churches, you go to worship the, your God mm -hmm. and then the pastor is trying to touch you. Or do you get me? He's so for you. we've seen, anyway, he's praying for you. He's praying. You see, it's time for a quick break. When we come back, we have more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> Sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. So there's an ongoing debate on Twitter. I mean, there's a lot of things going on on Twitter, but this one has gone <laughs> way down. But Nigerians on Twitter say Lassisi Eleno is the best skit maker. I don't think so. Who is the best? I, um, to be honest, I wanted to Nigeria. Keep, I wanted to keep silent on this conversation because. Mm. Same. Personally, the skits in Nigeria are not tailored for me. I know that. I love maybe in, in one in in I love one in every hundred skits that I see. Um, and they're not big names. People that even get me to laugh are um, are not very big names. Once the skit starts to get a lot more like acting, I lose ginger. But there's some really raw ones that you see. Like, a lot of them are, are they all like Frankie Sika. Mm, even Josh Too Funny for me mm, does Josh it a lot. Funny. Like you can see that him and his friends actually have a vibe. Like they're playing and they're having fun. Like Once Romeo, it gets like the camera Romeo angle, is, the camera that you've used is even so gang gang and it's looking like a movie. I don't know. It's just. Yeah, but Lassisi doesn't have all those gang I'm just saying, like one of the. Okay. I'm just talking about like skits in general. Yeah. It doesn't work for me. Lassisi used to make me laugh so much when it he first happened. started. And then he stopped. He just became really loud and annoying and it was overstressing on things that were not relevant. I would, so. say, I would say the pressure, I think, mm. it still amounts to structure. In whatever industry once an industry starts to boom i don't think it's okay for us to start leaving it to lie around anymore that's when we should start having investors I, as in i wish i was a millionaire or billionaire i would invest in a lot of things that a lot of people wouldn't even know that it could fetch them a lot of money like the skate industry is something big but because mm. no one is watching nobody there's no registration to be a member to do this to do mm. that or the creativity there has to be a standard there has to be this there have to be rules Everybody's just doing anything. So because of that pressure, we have like thousands of skit makers right now. Mm. That we some we don't even know. Some you may just be on Instagram and then you just bump into them and you mm. be like, okay, this guy's mm. not bad. Oh, who's this? Do you understand? Like you have different expressions for each and every one of them. So, like you said, Lassisi used to be very funny. If you were asking me this question like two years ago, mm. or if the statement was made like two years, I'd be like, yeah, of course, La Sisi. You get me? But so the, what happened? The pressure of having to churn out skits after skits. Yeah. You lose your creativity. True. You lose your authenticity. True. You lose. And then the need for always having to put adverts in all your skits. Yeah. We loved you for just making but us that's laugh. How they make we money know you back. need to yeah, make but money. It's not but working now. Me, if you have to give me five skits, can you just make two about adverts and give me three original ones? Well, mm. I guess that's where the pressure comes in as well. Yeah, because when you have um, say five brands you want in um, skits And then month, you space them out. In, I'll do well, job, they probably want it like a, yeah, it's, it's a pressure. You know, it's a campaign. pressure. It can um, but I think um Lassisi tries to do things that are relatable based on what he has experienced or what he knows about a particular sector. I mean, we had a conversation regarding lawyers mm. and how they felt misrepresented and all that. But that's what he does. We've seen him do it with Yahoo Boys. We've seen him do it with Sugar Daddies. Nice, yeah. We've seen him do it. So you, you know, I said something, I think last year, so where I think said... Why would I think he's the best? Where well, said that it depends on the situation he's trying to mimic or uh, or display. If you've actually 
been there or you understand what he's trying to do then maybe it will make you laugh so if he's talking about things that you can't relate to it it might look like okay what's this guy trying to do but for me i'm not going to say that he's the best at least not even now or not with his kind of um content creation i i think i would still pick a maraji a taoma and all that before i even want to pick a lassisi mm. but they're doing an amazing job yes they are of they course. have the numbers they have the eyeballs yes. they're of making course. people laugh no you can't you know even yeah. talking about yeah. ads and yeah. doing things that are not all about i think taoma did one recently where she kind of mimics things that are trending because at the end of the day to, to right now to be relevant and make people laugh you have to key into something that is trendy and then everybody's talking about it and becomes fun right so it's a big deal and like you said they are under a lot of pressure no, they are like um i did try like the yes, guy who I does it so. on i can almost like tell you how the skit is going to end yeah. because mm -hmm. he's like very and a lot of them are now. also a bit um offensive so sometimes i'm even trying to like stay away from them because I, like i said it's not tailored for me things that people will find funny i'm like yeah maybe let's there's not this, joke with that this, type of stuff there's this prank star um z fancy i admire that guy not because because he's not guy, a skit maker now he's a no, i said a, a prank star mm -hmm. i said a prank star well they're not also under the same comedian no, really okay. no he's, he's more into pranks like doing pranks mm. to people mm. do you know what i admire him because he actually makes you wait after the old whiskey prank which wasn't like so i expected more from that prank to be honest mm -hmm. in as much as i admire the guy but we had to wait like a long time again before he gave us another one he just dropped one recently and i'm like yeah that's mm -hmm. real because you took you spaced it and you gave us something good again that's how we should be even with skits don't just be dropping i think the like, pressure is because they also have to live off that as well so it's easy for you to say that the person can wait but if that's how you're going to make your money that's why i said a lot of investors are supposed to key into that as well and make so how it, would investors make money from it um talk that's to me that yeah, that's, that's something that you okay. can talk to me so about, you need to you know? talk to fellow washington yet to know how to invest in skit makers but thank you for watching and just send your opinions via whatsapp to 09065719 or twitter to us at plus tv africa um my thank you as always to go to my co-anchors ife omai and ife olu washington and the entire production team thank you for watching plus tv africa's tea time my name is elsie godwin do stay safe